I'm almost nine weeks pregnant today and I thought I would give you guys an update on how I'm doing. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel where I take care of all things mom. In today's video, I thought I would give you guys just a little update on how I'm feeling and how my first and second months of being pregnant have gone and if I feel like anything's changing. So first and foremost, I have been exhausted these last couple weeks. Shortly after I took my pregnancy test and actually found out I was pregnant, I was still like drinking my coffees, like living life normal. And then I just started feeling more and more tired. I also kind of started getting more food aversions, not to the point where I'm like feeling sick, but I kind of feel like I'm on the verge of being nauseous. And so um, thankfully, and I was hoping that this would be the case because it was the case when I was pregnant with Aubrey, is I don't feel the urge to go to Starbucks. I actually went today because I was like, oh, I think I'm feeling like, you know, a little craving for it. And then I got it and it was just like, this is okay, but it's not as good as I remember. So I'm actually kind of excited because that means I'll be saving money and hopefully I'll kind of break my addiction the next like eight months uh, and, you know, not rely on my coffee drinks to get me through the day. Although that may mean that like I'm even more tired because I'm not getting any caffeine. Um, I was modifying my drinks to incorporate more decaf rather than regular caffeine, but um, I don't know, sometimes just the thought of getting Starbucks would give me energy, even if there wasn't a lot of caffeine in it. So I don't know if that works that way for you, but enough about coffee. So, you know, aside from food aversions, I'm not really feeling nauseous, but like I said, it's just kind of like, I don't really need that. I do sometimes feel very lightheaded and like dizzy and headachey and that just makes me want to like lay down and do nothing, which is kind of hard when you have a two year old running around. So that has been probably my, one of my biggest struggles. Sorry about the noise in the background if you guys can hear it. Um, we got a neighbor doing some yard work, but I need the airflow in here, <laughs> otherwise it gets too stuffy. But back to what I was talking about, I think probably one of my biggest struggles is the emotions that I've been experiencing and just like probably a combination of all the additional hormones. Um, and also, I recently stopped taking my antidepressants. So for those of you guys who are new here, um, I have shared that I suffer from depression and anxiety and I was taking some medicine for it. And shortly after I found out that I was pregnant, I figured I would just kind of use up the rest of what I was previously prescribed and that would be it. And I know that the risk for the baby is very small. Um, I've been told by a, a number of doctors that like, you know, a lot of antidepressants are pretty safe um, for pregnancy, but, uh, I kind of feel like I'd rather not take it and not feel like, oh, I'm gonna blame myself in the future if something goes wrong. And I will only go back on it if the pros outweigh the risk to my baby. So like, let's say I'm just having very dark thoughts um, to the point where I think I actually may act on them. It's never gotten that bad in normal life for me anyways, but let's say during pregnancy it gets that bad then I would definitely consider going back on my medicine. Um, just kind of as a side note, I noticed that when I didn't take my medicine in the past and I had a bad day, I would have those thoughts of like, life's not worth living, why am I even here? People would you know, not care if I'm gone. And then when I was on my medicine, if I had a bad day, it was just a bad day. I didn't have those additional thoughts. So that has probably been one of the toughest things for me during my pregnancy right now is I do experience those thoughts a lot. Um, and I know that they aren't true, but I still experience them. And so um, I could use prayers for that because I, really like it's funny the the medicine is for my depression and anxiety and I'm not taking my medicine to ease some of my anxiety for my pregnancy 
it's just it's a little ironic for me but um logically it makes sense to me <laughs> so I don't know if that makes sense to someone who's not in my position but that's kind of where I'm at regarding that and then the only other like symptom or whatever that I can say definitely is kind of feels new is my skin I don't know if you guys can see it but it's like extra dark right here light in some spots like it's spotty and I don't really like to wear makeup so this is just gonna be my face I hope you guys are okay with that um, I think I want to say my sister experienced this too I don't know if it goes away I can't really remember if with Aubrey if I experienced the same thing I know that with Aubrey I experienced like the dizziness when I was working out I believe I took a lot of naps when I was pregnant with her, at least in the first some trimester or two. Um, at that part in my life, I was working on my dissertation and obviously I didn't have any kids yet, so I could take naps and I could, you know, go to the gym, come home, shower, nap again, <laughs> uh, go work on my dissertation, teach my online class. Like it was very, my schedule was very relaxed. so. I'm pretty sure I remember taking naps when I was pregnant and nowadays I really feel the need to do that. I'm blessed right now because Juan is in between school and starting his new job. So we've got like a good like week or two where it's just kind of our family and we're trying to enjoy it. So it's really nice to be able to say, okay, Juan has Aubrey, I'm gonna nap. And I'm gonna take care of myself right now because I know that when he goes back to work, I may not have as much freedom to nap, uh, you know, when I need it. I can always nap when she naps, which thankfully is a good chunk of our day. But uh, if I wanna get things done during that time too, I kind of, you know, have to give and take a little bit on how rested I feel. But that is kind of my little update for you guys on how I'm feeling. I do have some plans for future videos. I haven't like written them all out, but kind of predictions like what I think the baby's gonna be and weigh and all of that jazz um, as well as Juan and we can give you guys like Aubrey's uh, responses even though she has no idea like what we're asking her. I'm also thinking about like maybe coming up with more goals for this pregnancy and kind of walking you guys through or sharing those with you on just different things I plan to do this pregnancy and if they're any different from Aubrey's pregnancy or whatever. So let me know which video you want to see first. Do you want to see what I predict, you know, my predictions for our baby or if you want to know more about my goals for this pregnancy. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. That will let me know that you liked it or that you're just supportive of me during this challenging time. If you guys are new here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe and check out all of my motherhood content, and I will catch you guys in the next one. to the end of the video. If you didn't know already, every Monday and Friday you can find motherhood and lifestyle content on this channel. And since us moms have to do it all, that may mean yummy recipes, easy DIYs, mom hacks, cleaning and organization, or just a combo of everything. Please know that you are loved and you are made for greatness, and I will catch you in the next one.